I created this music video with Nano Banana and VO3 and it is mind blowing. Okay guys, so we'll be going over how to create that kind of music video you just watch. Now that kind of music video you watch is just a simple kind of music video. It's kind of a B-roll music video where the person singing the song is not actually showing in the video. It's just some random shots happening with models and people dancing. So, and it's very, very easy to create. Now, the first things first you need to understand is that you must have first of all created your music on suno.com so i've done a video on how to create music with suno.com on my youtube channel just check on the link on the description of this video or just search suno on my channel and get to watch that video and create the songs you want to create so once you are done creating your music from suno you then head over to start working on your music video so the first thing first is that you need to head over and come to google gemini so now why I'm using Google Gemini is that it's easier, you understand, to do a lot in terms of generation. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you that you can mix it up. I'm going to show you Google Gemini and I'm also going to show you Google AI Studio. Now, Google AI Studio covers a whole lot, you understand. Why Gemini is majorly, you chat and do, it's just like a simple interface, you understand. So most people prefer to do it, especially people that are using phone. So if you are using phone, this is still applicable to you. You just download the Google Gemini app and then you begin to do what I'm doing right now. So the first things first you need to understand with creating that kind of video is that you need to have your creativity on point first. What do you want to create? As for me, I wanted to create a video centered on just one lady, like a model who the song is being directed to doing different activities some other people are in the background but she is the spotlight of that video so what i first of all did was to create my avatar now your avatar is the character and the character there is that model so i started from scratch to create that model so in order to create the model is very very simple all you just need to do is just in this gemini point just type what you want before you create that video ensure you have already hit on this point that says images if you see it has the banana sign so you have automatically selected nano banana which is the google image editor and creator you understand if you look at it here so the first things first is then what kind of avatar do you want to create now if you don't know how to create any avatar just head over to ChatGPT and just tell it to give you ideas of the kind of avatar you want to create as for me my own avatar was a black african lady okay so if you check out this is my avatar right here so i first of all created her in this look you understand she was this her fierce look then what i did was that i opened up a new chat you understand this is my avatar if you get to see so if you look at this is my avatar this is what google gemini created for me as the first prompt when i said create me an avatar of a black lady dressed in a nice fashion sense something like that then he created this lady for me so what i now did next was that i started to create some other prompts of that particular lady in different dresses if you look at it right here the same lady right now in these jeans wear now in a different location and also i wanted to test her to be in a snowy area but it didn't work if you see what happened here so now if you see the reasons why this might happen is that google sometimes begin to conflict so what you can do is to just open up a new chat so for this if you create the first one create the second one and you see some inconsistency just simply create a new chat and upload the reference image now this image if you say i uploaded it right here and i said give me an image of the same character wearing jeans top and trouser and boots uh, and boots stylishly posing beside an abandoned train and it gave me this but when i didn't upload a reference image what now happened it gave me another person you understand so i went off further again to now upload the same image but because it has already caught up with this person in the snow it didn't actually match up so what i did was to open up a new chat and continue so right here on this new chart, I uploaded this reference image and it gave me this person. It might not be almost the same lady, but as you can see, there's a little bit of resemblance there. You understand? So 
I then went further to upload another image since I now understand the concept of what Google wants. The moment you upload an image, it works with your reference image. So I uploaded this image and I wanted it to give me a lady in the gym wear running and it gave me this. It's similar to her, but I think this one is a bit fake. You understand? So I still went ahead to do the same thing for it to give me another image of her in a tennis environment, wearing a tennis kind of sportwear and look at it. As you can see, it came out really amazing. So what I was now doing now is I was now using the reference image. You must not do this because once you upload one, it can start working with that one. But the moment you detect an error, it shifts. Then you just have to create a new chart and, and continue. So now, as you can see, I also from this, uploaded this and it gave me this other image. So once you are done with this, all you now have to do is to now go and start creating your video. So although for me, what I did was that I still went ahead to do some spicing up of this avatar that I created here. That is just my own mix. As for you, you can go ahead and start doing what you want to do. But the difference here is that if you notice, this image is currently in a square size because Nano Banana actually gives you square size images. So in order to be able to bypass this, for you to now get a rectangle size which is normally good for video like 16 by 9 as for you that's your prompt you'll be using to create your own model ensure it has this on it 16 by 9 ratio so as for me i didn't add 16 by 9 ratio so it actually affected the creation of my own ai model so if you do 16 by 9 when you head over to gemini right here on gemini when you paste it you just send it and it's going to give you the image in 16 by 9. So as you can see, mine was generated in 16 by 9. And that is because on my new prompt, I added 16 by 9. So this is how you generate your own AI avatar. But since I didn't do that from the beginning, I will now have to change all of these to a rectangle way. So what I did was that I just went to Canva to do it. But now when you use Canva, you have to have Canva Pro. As for me right here, I have Canva Pro. So you see what I did in Canva Pro was that when I uploaded this image, I just clicked on edit and I came to this one that says Magic Studio. And then I clicked on Magic Expand and I selected whole page and it expanded the image that was a square sized image to a rectangle image. And it just gave it some other extra background right here. You understand? So. As for you, in order to bypass this, just upload an image that is of this size, but just having a background and then say, create me an avatar or so, so, so model in this background and it's going to match it up. You understand? So once you do that, then you then head over to start creating your video. So, but for me, what I wanted was to spice it up more. So if I show her in this background, I can still have some other people in the background. You could easily do that on Nano Banana, but because I didn't do it from the beginning, I had to redo it again. So let me show you what I did. So once I was done expanding my images, as for you, probably you don't need to do your expanding because you already have yours in a rectangle format just like this. So what you just do is if you want to spice it up like mine, you understand? Because I wanted that to be in a much more spicy background because I didn't do it from the beginning. As for you, you might have done it, you understand? What I did was that I came to ChatGPT and I uploaded my image. You can still do this on Google Gemini. I just decided to use ChatGPT, you understand? What I said here is for a music video, give me a better prompt to put this lady in a better background, you understand? And I came here and I asked it to give me this and it gave me this. What it gave me was good, but it was not matching the style of music I was creating. You understand? Because I created a Nigerian Afrobeat song. So I said, it's a Nigerian song right here. So I now prompted it and it rephrased it and now gave me one for a Nigerian music video vibe. And I copied this like this. This is now me using my image that I have to now create something that will reference a much more better background. So I copied this. If you look at it, what it said here, reference image attached. So you now have to now go back to your Nano Banana, which is within your Gemini app as well. But as for me now, I was using Google AI Studio. You can still do this in Google Gemini. I'm just trying to show you the, all the interface. Either you're doing it on Google AI Studio or you're doing it within the Gemini app. It's still the same thing because Nano Banana is the same across all of them. You understand? So once I came here, I uploaded my image. I just clicked here and uploaded my image. 
on Gemini app is the same thing. Just upload your image, selected upload file, and then I uploaded this image and I gave it this prompt. You understand? Look at the prompt I gave it from ChatGPT. And from this, it gave me this. If you see, this was that first one I said I didn't like. And it rephrased it and it gave me the other one. And if you see, it gave me this one. I like this one much more better. It looks much more like a Nigerian vibe. And then I, I continued with the same process for all my images. You should see, I, I uploaded this other image and say, give me for this one to match the clothing and scene. So it gave me another prompt, which I went back and used in my Google AI studio right here. Same thing with Gemini. And it gave me this background. Can you see? So it's now spicing up my image to have a kind of a video feel. You can use this as well. The lady will just be alone. You understand? It doesn't mean you must follow my pattern. I'm just showing you how I achieved my own video that you watched. If you look at it right here, then the same thing I uploaded a tennis girl, copied the prompt from ChatGPT, and it gave me this one as well. And I copied this one, and it also gave me the same thing for that image as well. Can you see some with some people dancing at the back? Same thing, all these prompts I got it from ChatGPT. All I was doing was uploading my images and saying, give me to match the same clothing, the same thing. You understand? I made a mistake here. And I say, give me to match the same clothing. Nothing much. So when I was done creating all my image backgrounds the way I want them to look, what I now did was that I headed over to Google View 3 to now create my video. So for Google View 3, I needed some prompts. So what I did right here was that I said for all the images created, give me a proper prompt to create View 3 videos to match each prompt. So for each scene, it, it began to give me Google View 3 prompt. You see the red outfit, the yellow outfit, the tennis outfit, the, the dim outfit. And also, I think the train, this, this should be like the train station outfit as well. You understand? So it now gave me prompt to go and create videos in Google View 3. So what I now did was that I headed over to Google View 3 to start creating these videos. So right here on Google View 3, as you can see, I have 100 free credits. And that's because Google has made all users, even the free users, to have free credit, which is just 100 free credits you can use in a month. So right now, what you do right here, just click on this settings area, ensure you are selecting one prompt, which is they give you one video, and you are selecting view three first, which is the one that you use to create amazing quality videos. If you select the three quality, as you can see, they will charge you 100 free credit, which is only one video you can create. But with the view three first, you can create five videos with your free credit. So, right now, what you need to do is to click on this button that says frames to video. Because you'll be uploading an image. So just select those images you have created from your device and then bring them into Google View 3. Just agree to whatever they are saying. Then bring your image to this point. So I just select the image from my device right here. And once the image is here, you can just crop it the way you want. So if you see, I'm just cropping it by the side so that that gemini logo is not showing on my own video then i just save it and then as you can see i just save it and then as you can see my image is uploading once my image is done uploading i will just paste a prompt right here as you can see my image is done uploading i've pasted my prompt right here which i got from chat remember all my video prompts so i've sent my prompts and as you can see right now it's generating once it's done generating i'll play the video and you get to see so as you can see now it's done generating if i play this video you get to see how the lady is moving in a dancing style so once i'm done all i just need to do is to click on the download download it in the upscaled version and then i'll head over to repeat the same process for all my images copying the prompts that is supposed to change all my images to videos just as you can see right here i've copied for the second one repeat the same process generates all of my videos once i'm done generating all my videos i'll head over to now to the last point which is combining my video with a song that I generated from sumo ai so right now as you can see i'm doing for this one once the video is ready you get to see the video is ready as well so once you are done with your videos then the next thing you need to do, just head over to Suno 
AI music generator and then pick your song you want to generate and then finally you head over to where you merge them together which is like your video editing software. I use CapCut for this. So once you are done generating your videos and you already have your music ready, the last step is to just combine the videos together and then overlap your music. Now, usually when creating your videos on Google View 3, it's going to come with a sound because you told it you are trying to create something of people dancing and View 3 has sound. So it will automatically just put an instrumental so the people can be vibing to it. As for you, just turn off the sound when doing your editing. So this is CapCut on laptop, but you can also do it on CapCut on your phone. It's very easy. Just go through it, import all your files. As you can see like this, I have all my files ready. This is just to just show you as an example. Then once I import all these files, the next thing, I will turn off the volume of all of these and then bring in my music, which is this song I created right there on Suno. And then I'll turn off the sound of all these ones, this first one, then I'll just leave my music. Then once I'm done, I like everything. You can also add some effect if you want from the CapCut library. Just add a little bit of effect and there you have it. You have your music video ready. So all you just need to do is to export it and use it for whatever you want to use it for. So now if you want to use it as a commercial stock, ensure that for the music, you upgrade to Suno Pro so that you can be able to use the music for a commercial purpose. And the Pro is not even that expensive. I guess it's just about $10 a month and you can create about 500 music. So you know the possibilities. You can use it to start a music video YouTube channel. Start posting music videos that has songs that is your own. And when you get monetized, you start making money from that. So this is how to create a music video combining Nano Banana from Google, VO3 and also Suno to create an amazing work of art okay guys so that is it for this video if you are not yet subscribed to the channel now is the right time to do so just click on the subscribe button subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you get notified when i drop videos just like this talking about videos this is another video that youtube wants you to watch on my channel see you in that video